Hey guys, Deanne Taylor here. We are in the middle of 2021 release wave 2 and Microsoft is still rolling out new features as part of this release. For this video, I want to talk about the new Power Apps designer that Microsoft is rolling out. This designer is not just for Canvas apps, this is also for model-driven apps. Besides the functionality that we were used to from the legacy app designer, we can now also do some new things such as adding collapsible groups. If you want to find out all about the new designer and this new functionality, go ahead and take a look. So I'm first going to show you the legacy experience here of the Power Apps Designer and the way that you can get to it a very quick way here is to click on the app switcher and then from there you can just pick any app that you want to configure and if you click on more options and then open app designer this is that legacy experience that we're used to. So the new experience, you'll actually have to navigate to make.powerapps.com and then obviously make sure that you are in the correct environment, right? Then from there, you're going to go back to apps. And let me actually search for my sales hub, which is over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on these three dots here. And then you can see that edit button with this little arrow here. And here is where you can access, there you go, the designer, the Power Apps designer, which is currently, like I said, in preview. So while this loads, let me actually expand this. And what you can see here is that I'm actually now editing a model driven app. So Again, this is not just for Canvas apps, right? This is also for model-driven apps. So if I click here on app, you can see I can change certain things here. I can change the app name. I can change the description in here. And then if I go and view the items below, these are really all of those tables that are associated with this app. So I can see here I have the account table. And if I click on account form, that's going to show me all of the forms that are available that will load in this section. And then if you scroll down, if you want to manage forms, this is where you're going to manage the forms that are actually going to be available for this app. So anything you uncheck will no longer be available. And obviously anything that you check will then be available. So. The same thing goes for views. So again, you will get a list of all the views that you can set here, whether or not you want them to be available. And then if I scroll down a little bit further, I'm going to go all the way down. You can see here we also have a dashboard section. So again, these are all the dashboards that are available. And if I want to remove any of these items, either a table or a dashboard, I can just click here on this little, these three dots, and you can remove the dashboards from the app. Same thing over here, right? It allows me to remove that user table or any table that I would like to remove from the app. Now, if I wanted to add tables or if I wanted to add dashboards, I can very quickly do that by just clicking here on add page. And what it's going to ask me, do I want to add a table with a view, right? And a form, or do I want to add a dashboard or do I want to add a custom page? Now I'm not really going to get into custom pages, which is currently also in preview, but this is really, like I said earlier, the way that we can very quickly, right? I can click next. I can search for a table. And then I can just say, maybe I want to add cases to this. I don't see it in here. So what you can do is you can just pick one. Do I want to show it in a navigation here or not? Let's just say we do. 
And when I click add, right, I wanted to add case. Let's see if I can find that case is over here. Title can add that, update that. And then you can see this is now how it's being added to, as you can see right over here. Now, if I want to go ahead and move that around, I cannot drag and drop that as you can see, but you can go back here. Let's see if I can find that. You would actually need to go here to navigation and that's where you can move it up or down or I can just simply get rid of it from here as well, right? I can just say remove cases. So again, any items here you want to move around, you can just use those buttons. But the other thing that I wanted to show you here as well is what I talked about earlier, those collapsible groups. So when you click on navigation, this is where you can enable those collapsible groups. And those are really those sections here on the form, like my work, auto capture, customers, right? If I click on this, you can see that they now all have the ability to collapse in the application. So at this point in time, I can't say, oh, I only want customers and sales to be collapsible groups. It's either all of them or none of them. And then the other thing that we can do here is we can actually get rid of these home recent and pin buttons over here as well. So if I'm saying I don't want to show the pinned area and I don't want to show the home area either, I can just uncheck those boxes and then basically remove them right from that sitemap. Some other things that you can do here as well, if I want to add a group or if I want to add a sub area, I can do that directly from here, right? So if I click here on group, you can see here, here's my new group and that will really, oops, be something. Of course, if you save that, that will now show up as that new group. And then again, I can move that up, move it down, or I can remove that. And then lastly, when, let me actually get rid of this group here. Lastly, if you click on data, this is going to show you all of the data that's in your app. You can see here all of those tables, right? That are related to this particular app, but you can actually not remove them from here. You can go to the table. If I click, for example, on here and I click on edit account, that will take me to that table here. Let's just give it a second, right? And now I can start editing anything related to this table. So this is all the data in your app. And then you can see here all the data that is in your environment. And if you have a need to switch to the classic, oops, the classic Power Apps Designer, then obviously I'm going to say cancel here. You can just go ahead and click on switch to classic. And then when you click on settings, that just again takes you to that same place, right? Where you can change the app name and you can also change the description of the app. And I also lastly wanted to mention these items here on the bottom. So if you need to go ahead and zoom out a little bit or if you want to make this a tablet view, what does this look like on a tablet or a phone? Right, you're gonna be able to kind of switch back and forth between those types of views as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.